So I'm very excited to see what goes next. But that's not all on Marvel that we have today. We have the cat. We just got the um, actress to play She-Hulk, Tatiana Masolani. Um, now, if you don't know her, um, she's from the series called Orphan Black. Now, I think Orphan Black is a Amazon series. I'm not sure. Um, I seen a, I seen the like about a couple episodes of it. Now she has range when it comes to actor. Now her role in Orphan Black, she needed range. Um, I'll give you a quick synopsis. So this uh, young lady was on the train, and mm-hmm. she saw someone jump in front of the train, uh, committing the suicide. When they pulled the body out, the person was her, and she was like really confused. So it turns out she had clones all over the world of herself. Wow. So this actress played pretty much like a good amount of her like different characters while still staying true to her character. So the acting range is phenomenal for her. And I'm actually surprised she got the role of She-Hawk. Now, a lot of people are saying like, well, she ain't buff enough. Well, if, I mean, if you sign a Marvel deal, they'll sponsor you going to the gym. And chances are this may be a not fully CGI, but they're going to use CGI for this character. I mean, I, well, first of all, <laughs> uh, well, She Hawk is a little bit different from Hawk, though. Yeah, yeah, she is different yeah. from Hawk because there is times when she just be in her Hawk form mm-hmm. and she just be, you know, being a lord to the case. So I could I could probably see maybe where they come from, but still, I that don't bother me. Right, Gail Godot wasn't bulk until they had to make a bulk for 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 Wonder Woman. Right, and she looks absolutely great. Mm-hmm. So you know that. Uh, now I I'm not familiar with Orphan Black, but I am familiar with um because uh, Tatiana was a TV movie actress. Mm-hmm. She played a lot of those Hallmark Christmas and Thanksgiving movies. Gotcha, gotcha. So you know, honestly. Like I said, since I didn't see Orphan Black, so I didn't see the range. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm curious of the test. Okay. You know, say uh, uh, to, uh, to see how it'll turn out to, to see you know what kind of a job she will do because, right. uh, like I said, the only things I, I'm familiar with her with is some of her Hallmark movies that she, that she did for the holidays, and you know, every year the holidays they will you know. Crank oh, out by these spooky yeah. movies. Get ready yeah. for get ready in November because that's that's when they're gonna start coming. I'm, especially if people can't shop for Black Friday this year. Oh, <laughs> bro, <laughs> it's gonna be Cyber Monday all over the place. Oh man! Now, um, with this being um, Hulk's cousin, uh, for people who don't know, She Hulk is Hulk's cousin. Uh, do you feel like Mark Ruffalo is gonna be like a staple character in the series? I would like him to be. Okay. I, I think for the first, uh, well, one of those episodes had to have him in there, mm-hmm. at least one. This is this is a Disney Plus thing. I think it'll be a good idea for him to do because because we're never going to get Hulk two, right? Get, that's, get that's, never gonna that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. We're never going to get the Incredible Hulk two. Universal will never get give us the Incredible Hulk two. So the best I, thing I don't, we don't think Disney do. is going to let Universal <laughs> do it. Yeah. So I I think that uh, first of all, in, in my personal opinion, the Hulk need a second chance. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I really think that the MCU, mainly the Russo brothers, fumbled with the Hulk bad, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yeah, you 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 need some you need some Hulk moments. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. the Hulk and the She Hulk thing will be great. Now the only thing I could speculate where this series could go is um. Uh... Of course, they got like a, an emergency blood transfusion. Uh, That's how she became She Hawk. Yeah. And once she hawks out, she's need help from her cousin Bruce Banner, and who's the Professor Hawk at this uh, point in time. Yeah. And he's gonna like you know it's gonna be like a fish out of water series where he's like, "Yo, I'm gonna show you how to be Hawk in your everyday life." I feel like it will be some a series like that. I mean, that would be cool and all, but uh, that's more of a sitcom, if anything. <laughs> It, it, it's like, I, I only I only know I only know the adventures of Lois and Clark with the Hawks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's that why I don't need a I don't need a sitcom. I don't need a a series. I don't need a Dawson's Creek with the Hawks. I need Hawk smashing. Right. I need you know, that's you know that's why I need I need She Hawk. You know 
winning cases and taking names and smashing. That's that, right. that that's what I would want to to, to see. Now the fish out of water story, I'm not mad that but like as of right now, it's not nobody's fault. But I I'm still not I don't like Professor Hawk the way they portrayed him. Right, right. And Professor also, Hawk in the comics is great, but not the yeah. way the MCU portrayed him. Right. And also what we saw in the movie is that uh maybe he needs his cousin to do what the Hawk can't do. He's like grooming her up to become the Hulk because we remember uh, in the in the Infinity. Well, I'm sorry, in Endgame, his arm is completely damaged, and I don't think he could use that anymore. Which so he's like, even it's, more. It's like, yo, I can't be Hulk with one arm, so I'm gonna need you to be the Hulk for me. And then she could go that around, made, you know, helping, uh, you know, just doing what the Hulk can't do. That may make me more sad. <laughs> It'll be like a going away for the Hulk. If I say they even see the hawk in a sling, I'm like, yo, throw the whole series away. Well, if we really think about it, all the core Avengers is having their pat their ongoing. Like Black Widow passed away, and she's having her prequel movie coming out. Captain America's gone. Tony Stark is gone. Thor is going to have Thor, um, Love and Thunder, which they're going to be passing the mantle to Jane. And yeah. then last one we got is Hulk. So this is, I think they're trying to start the uh, passing of the torch, like this. That was that's the only way I could see it. I mean, you're not wrong. Don't mean it don't yeah. still hurt. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely understand because <laughs> I, I would have loved to see more. I would I would love to see World Breaker. I'm about to say if, if Hulk just had a good scene in Endgame or just <laughs> out, you know, what I'm saying instead of bitching, then yeah. I would have problem with the series. So we all wanted that rematch. Oh, we bro. all wanted that rematch, and we said Hulk should have been the one saving Rhodey and Rocket, not not Hank Pill. I'm not Hank, uh, not Scott, Scott Lang. Lang. <laughs> Ill. <laughs> hey, we gotta give more credit to Scott Lang. He, he he's setting up the new Avengers. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, congratulations to Tatiana uh, Masolani for her new yes. role. I'm very happy for her, and I hope she succeeds. 